Professor Ricardo, thank you so much for joining us at the GWM booth here at CES 2026. My colleagues and I are curious, what brought you here today? Two times, yeah. It truly fascinates me. I've worked in China many times on hydrological projects. And I'm very familiar with the Zhejiang irrigation system in Chengdu. What amazed me is what the water system built 2,280 years ago is still active supporting agricultural today, irrigating more than 1.6 million acres of farmland. What makes it extraordinary is that it doesn't rely on a massive dam to fight the river. Instead, it works with the landscape. The fish mouth divides the flow. The bottleneck channel precisely regulates the volume. And the flying sand weir spillway automatically releases the flow and sediments. There is no brute force, only coexistence with nature. To me, that's a profound expression of Eastern technology wisdom. So when I heard that GWM was bringing an automobile technology inspired by the same philosophy to CES, my curiosity brought me here. I had to see it for myself. I'm impressed by how deeply you understand Du Jiangyan. What you're describing is exactly the inspiration behind this technology. It directly addresses vehicle performance and energy efficiency, and we call it I4. Just as Du Jiangyan manages water flow without forcing it, I4 breaks free the traditional inefficient generate first then drive approach. Instead, the engine is kept within its most efficient operating range. The system continuously reads driving conditions and intelligently allocates energy, whether for propulsion, charging or storage, only as needed. The goal is the same as the Jiangyang's optimal balance. That's why we brought this technology to CS, not only to share a piece of China's engineering wisdom with the world, but also to learn through dialogue with the global technology and academic community. That's incredible. I study water system for decades. I never imagined that the wisdom for more than 2,000 years ago could align so naturally with the core of technology of modern automobiles. That is not a simple inspiration. It is precisely the continuation and reinvention of the idea that working with the flow, the way you manage the energy in this automobile mirrors Zhu Jiangjian so closely, yet with a distinctly modern technological expression. It is truly remarkable. This is the all new Tank 500 I40, equipped with our I4 system. It delivers a maximum system output of 310 kilowatts and 750 Nm of peak torque with 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time in 6.9 seconds. It offers a pure electric range of 110 km, which easily covers daily commuting. And as a true off-road vehicle, fuel consumption in charge sustaining mode is as low as 8.35 liters per 100 km. So there's no range anxiety. More importantly, the Tank 500 I40 retains a mechanical center differential and a front and rear differential locks, preserving true off-road capability. It brings together four-wheel drive safety, off-road performance, urban intelligence, and electric driving comfort. So advanced technology truly benefits every user. That level of efficiency really surprised me. The power of the high four brings to mind a quote from Bruce Lee. Water can flow or it can crash. It is hard to believe that the engineering logic and philosophy separated by more than 2,000 years can still connect so clearly today. But seeing this, I understand why. 
this kind of system level thinking and the ability to translate it into modern technology, it's something only a truly global automaker like GWM can achieve. The vis this visit has absolutely been worth it <laughs> to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> GWM. Go with more.